<laughs> That's Gillick, the bomb-sniffing golden retriever entertaining some travelers while patiently waiting for her old partner. When we weren't trading, we would go out on missions uh, every day. She would be the first one going out and trying to find uh, you know, any suspected caches or IDs. This, an old photo of Staff Sergeant Alex Brown's wife and son visiting the two while they trained in Arizona. They served side by side in Afghanistan in 2012, but got separated when he came home. Today, the day when Brown's family of three becomes a family of four. I have a lot of friends that have been looking for their dog too, and I, I never, ever thought I would ever see Gillick again. Just back from a second deployment, Brown never stopped looking or thinking about his old friend. We've been told she's been adopted, so she's still working. So we've been told a lot of different things, so I had no idea where she was. Turns out Gillick and 11 other dogs were adopted by a private contract company that then abandoned them at Mount Hope Kennel in Virginia. The owner there generously taking care of the dogs over the last 17 months. Then out of the blue, a friend sent the family a message on Facebook after noticing Gillick in a video. It was pretty overwhelming. I didn't, it was hard to believe. It's still now, it's hard to believe. The U.S. War Dogs Association and Mission Canine Rescue Groups are helping the four-legged heroes find new homes, ideally with their former handler. When we see these guys get back together with their dogs, it's like putting a piece of them back together, and it's pretty exciting. After years apart, a friendship rekindled. There's some catching up to do as Gillick heads out of the kennel and off to enjoy the dog days of summer. Our house, uh, we, we built a fence right before I left for, for our four-year-old. She'll have a whole backyard to, uh, to play and do whatever, do whatever she wants to do. From Hobby Airport, I'm Rob Wood, Fox 26 News.